Hey there, how's it going? Well, this will probably be temporarily the last video I make until I'm on the road uh, and give some updates as to stuff that I'm seeing. And uh, I, you know, on the trip, I'm thinking how I, I, I need to have this camera ready and set up so if I if I run into some really cool things to, to to get pictures of, I can. I want to take a lot of pictures this time. Um, but I also want to arrive at the destination in a reasonable amount of time, too. But... Because I don't want to... I mean, there might still be some times I, at, you know, during the trip, I might still stay at, at hotels for a couple nights. I can see if I can manage to sleep in the van, okay, we'll see. I'm trying to pack it in a way that uh, I can tilt my seat back a little bit. And we'll see what happens there. But, uh, man. Trip two here from Washington was hellish. It was really hellish. But most of the hellishness was because it was so fucking hot and the air conditioning went out in the van. So... I'm hoping there's not going to be too much snow when I uh, get start getting near the mountains. Because um, I know it started to snow in some areas already. I am a little scared. I'm stressed, not over the drive itself, but over the fact that I don't know if, if, I don't know what's going to happen once I arrive. I don't already have a place lined up. Um, but I want to get there as, as soon as I can so I can you know, when I'm replying to these ads, I can actually be there to... Because, I mean, like I said, a lot of places are not going to uh, accept applications and uh, accept, you know, having someone move into a place when they can't even meet them in person first. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. So I've, I've got to be there. And... You know, one option that, that uh, was mentioned, and it makes sense, it's, it's a pretty good option, is to find a storage unit. Find a storage unit, put, my stuff in, put most of my stuff in storage, then at that point get, the, uh, get the, either an air mattress or if there's somewhere that has... I mean, I could drive a ways, I could drive, I could do a five-hour trip and back uh, to Ikea and get their uh, twin version of that, uh, of, of my same mattress, because I'm leaving, I'm leaving my mattress behind, I'm leaving this chair I'm sitting in behind, I'm leaving the stereo and the speakers behind. I just have these little computer speakers, and that works perfectly fine for me. It worked fine for me before I, uh, you know, moved from my mother's. It, I, I don't need some special uh, stereo system. Uh, the the headphones that I have have really full range, so you know, if I want to hear the full range, I can put on headphones. Um. But yeah, shortly I need to start to disassemble this uh, this computer setup and and make it ready for transport. Um, I'm going to get some help tomorrow, hopefully, to uh, move the desk, the the larger desk here, um, uh, at least downstairs. I think I can manage to get into the van, but getting it down the stairs is is kind of a rough thing. Um, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe I can figure out some way to manage it. I don't know myself, but <sighs> oh man, it 
it's stressful. It's it's really stressful. <laughs> it uh, not having a full plan once I get to my destination. It it makes it really adds to the stress. I mean, when you have when you have a definitive goal and you have a way of, of obtaining the goal and getting to that, it's a lot easier to deal with than when it's you're you're going to arrive at something that's unknown. You know. We'll see how much I can get done tonight. I might end up still leaving on Friday instead of Thursday. We'll see. Um, because there's some things I still have to do. Like I have to run and I have to t take the cable modem back to the uh, to the uh, the cable company. I need to go to Rite Aid and get another refill for my uh, olanzapine. Uh, <clears throat> well, that's not that much stuff, but still something I need to get done. Wow. Anyway. So I wanted to at least make, you know, one more video before I disassemble my machine. I did, if some people saw them, I made, my last two videos were, were superficial. It was talking about my phone. And it was stuff that I wanted to get done before I disassembled this machine, you know. I, I wanted to, to have that part solid. Uh, it had to do with uh, finding an app that if I use the exit option, which Android doesn't really let you exit apps, they still kind of run in the background or they're taking up memory. It's weird. They're, they're, the Android way of doing things is weird. And I wanted to find something where if I exit the app, the music stops playing. And it wouldn't be in memory, but you can't do that. It, that's not an option in Android, so... I was frustrated for a moment, uh, just mainly because it's 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 the last thing I need I wanted to do before I disassembled my machine. So my my not the machine itself, but the the setup, you know. Uh, get the monitors ready for transport. Get the computer ready for transport. Get all the things hooked up to it, so all the wires are in the same place. So it's easier to set up when I get to my destination, when I eventually get to a destination where I can uh, set it up again. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs>